Hi guys, so in this video I'm going to explain to you how to factorise type number 2 of algebraic expressions which is called gang of 4. Now, I suppose the name gives it away. When we're asked to factorise the gang of 4, we need to make sure that we do have 4 terms and that's, I suppose, the first way we're going to go about spotting if it is type number 2. So our first example is going to be ax plus ay plus bx plus by. And you're going to be asked to factorise that on the exam. So first of all, you ask yourself, okay, is it type number one? The reason it's not type number one is because there's no common factor that's in common with all of the uh, terms. However, what you might notice is that the first two terms have something in common, which is the letter A, and the third and fourth term have a letter in common, which is the letter B. So that's how we're going to start this off. So we're going to bring the a out to the front and we're going to ask ourselves what do we multiply by a to get ax and that's x and what do we multiply by a to get plus a y it's going to be plus y. We're going to do the same factorizing on the last two terms and we're going to say well what's the common factor it's the letter b and we ask ourselves what do we multiply by the letter b to get bx and that's x and what do we multiply by the letter b to get by and that's the letter y. What you might notice at this point is that the brackets in both sets of terms are the same. So the last step with a gang of four expression is we bring together the terms in front of the two brackets that are identical and we put those into one bracket which is a plus b and into the second bracket we put in x plus y and we're finished. That is our gang of four expression factorised. Okay, so we have a quick look at this example then. So we're going to use the same process. So if this comes up on the exam, we're going to be asked to factorise. So I suppose that's the important thing to note as well. So if we're asked to factorise this expression, the first thing we need to ask ourselves is, well, what's actually going on here? Is it type 1? Is it type 2? Or ultimately, could it be type 3 or type 4? So we start off with type 1 and we ask ourselves, is there a common factor between each of these terms? Now, initially, you might look and say, oh, yeah, there is. But when you start looking closely, you'll see, well, yeah, yeah, there's a 3a there and there's a 3a in the third term and there's an x there and an x there but it's not in the third or fourth and we realize that it couldn't be type one then we say to ourselves okay well type number two is gang of four which is related to four terms so maybe we're on to something here so looking at the first two terms we need to ask yourself is there anything in common between those and what we'll notice is that we have the letter x so if we take x out, we'll say to ourselves, what do we multiply by x to get 3ax? And that's 3a. And what do we multiply by x to get minus bx? And that's minus b. We're going to do the same, two, uh, the same thing to the last two terms. So we ask ourselves, is there anything in common between those? And we spot that there is y. And again, we ask ourselves, what do you multiply by y to get 3ay? That's going to be 3a. And what do you multiply by y to get minus by? And that's minus b. Again, we notice something interesting that the two brackets that we have here are both identical. So to finish this off, we take the two terms that are multiplying in front of the identical brackets and we put those into one bracket. And then we put the identical brackets, we just write that once multiplied by this other set of brackets and we're finished. Okay, so in this question we're being asked to factorise it again. So you're looking at this and you're thinking, right, is it type 1? No, it can't be because there's nothing in common between all of them. Let's have a go at type number 2. But when you start off, you're going to look here and you're going to say to yourself, okay, Anya's always told us that we take the first two terms and see what they have in common. But in this question, the first two terms don't actually have anything in common. But then on closer inspection, you might realise, well, hang on a second. OK, I know the first two don't have anything in common, but what about the middle terms? They have a B in common. And do we notice anything about the other two terms? Oh, hang on a second. They have a 3 in common. So what we're going to do is we're going to rewrite this out. So I'm going to rewrite it out to have the BD plus the BA first, and then I'll write the plus 3A plus 3D second. And then we start the process again and we say, what do the first two terms have in common? And they have the letter B. So we do B bracket D plus A. 
And then we do the same for the last two terms and we say, well, what do they have in common? They have a three in common and that's going to be A plus D. Now, at this point, you might think, well, hang on a second. What? We don't, we don't have the identical brackets, but this is a D and this is a D and that's an A and that's an A. It's just the other way around. So we can still count this as identical brackets. So now I'm going to take the terms that are in front of those brackets and bring them into one bracket. So B plus 3. And into my other bracket, it doesn't matter which order I write it in, we're going to have A plus D. All right, guys, have a quick go at these two questions for me. Pause the video, try it in your copy, and then you can play the video at the end. Okay, so for the first one, I'm looking and I'm saying, right, is it type 1? No, it's not. It has to be type 2. It's a gang of four. Let's have a go at it. So we're going to look at what the first two terms have in common and what the last two terms have in common. So the first two terms have a W in common, and that's going to be multiplied by A plus B. And the last two terms have a 7 in common, and that's going to be multiplied by A plus B. What do we notice? The two brackets are identical, so we rewrite the numbers in front of both those brackets into one bracket, so that's W plus 7, and we write uh, one more of the identical brackets, A plus B. Job done. For the second one, we need to be a little bit more careful because what we realise when we look at the first two terms is they don't actually have anything in common. But what we notice again is that the middle two terms have something in common. They have the letter A, and the first term and the last term have the number 4 in common. So we're going to rewrite this. So I'm going to write AP plus AM plus 4M plus 4P. And we start the process off again. So that's going to give me A bracket P plus M plus 4 bracket M plus P. And then we bring our two identical, or sorry, the two numbers or terms in front of our identical brackets together. So that's going to be A plus 4 multiplied by M plus P.